Welcome to the EasyU tutorial for text messaging. In this video, we will cover how to send a text message, view history, unresolved messages, and your suppression list. Keeping a solid line of communication with your clients is of the utmost importance when delivering a high level of customer service, and in today's world, that means being able to communicate through text messages. The text messaging feature of the communication center will allow you to do this. So, let's get started. First, to send a text message, navigate to an applicant's account. Click on the text message icon to the left. A text pane will display to the right. If you do not see this option, please verify a text-capable number is entered on the Details tab. Please note, if a warning message displays, this number has requested to not receive texts, means the number is in the suppression list. We will cover this list later in the video. If they have more than one phone number use the reply to drop down to select the right number for texting. If you have any previous text history with this insured it will display here. Under that you have the option to use text templates by selecting insert template. To learn more about text templates please watch our video text messaging templates. Next to send a text, type your message in the text field. Notice there is a limit of 1600 characters. You also have the option to attach a document from the Documents tab. To do so select the paperclip icon. Check the checkbox for the appropriate line item. In our case we will send an ID card. Please note, cell service providers and certain cell phones may limit the size and type of media files received. Once the document is selected click Import. When ready, click Send. Now that you know how to send a text message let's cover how to view your text history and unresolved texts. To start there are two ways to get there. First on your dashboard page you will have a box with the options for sent or received and under that unresolved. The second way is to hover over the communication center icon and under voice and text click on calls and messages. On the history tab, you can see all the sent and received text messages. Use the search applicants bar to look up applicants. By default, this list is filtered on a rolling weekly basis. Select Filters for the option to expand the date range and to apply other filters. For Receive Text Messages click on the vertical ellipses in the Actions column for the option to Send Text. You will have the same options in the text pane as shown earlier in the video. Additionally, you can see Send and Receive Texts on the Activity tab for your applicant. Next is the Unresolved tab. Click Unresolved near the top of the page. If you receive a text from a number that is not in your system, the message will end up as unresolved. This can also happen if the phone number is associated with multiple of your applicants. Any line item here refers to a text message that cannot be auto-matched so it is up to you to resolve these messages as they come in, so we recommend checking the unresolved tab throughout the day or viewing it on your dashboard. To reconcile a line item, click on the three vertical ellipses under the Actions column. Here, you can reply to the text, assign the number to an applicant, or delete the message. For this example, we know this number belongs to Barry Smith, so we will click Assign to Applicant. Now we can search for the applicant. From here, select the applicant. This will resolve the message and move it to the History tab. Moving back to the History tab, notice that the customer's message is now listed. Additionally, for unknowns listed on the History tab, select the three vertical ellipses for the option to resolve. This will bring you back to the Unresolved tab, where you'll take the same steps we just discussed. Finally, let's look at the suppression list. To navigate there, hover over the Communication Center icon and under Voice and Text select Suppression List. This list includes all phone numbers that have opted out of receiving text messages. To add a number to the list, click Add, then enter the phone number. When ready, click Add. Notice the number is now in the list. To remove the number from the list, click on the red trash can icon, then remove. Notice there is a number with no trash can icon. This number cannot be removed from the list by anyone but the applicant because they added themselves to the list. If an applicant wants to opt out of receiving texts and be added to your suppression list, they simply need to text your agency's text number STOP. If they change their mind and want to opt in to receive texts again, they must text START. That is all for this tutorial on text messages. You should now have the knowledge and skills needed to send a text message, view history, unresolved messages and your suppression list. 
Thanks for watching.